The opening statements have concluded in Johnny Depp's defamation lawsuit against his ex-wife, Amber Heard. The actor is suing Heard for libel over a 2018 article she wrote in the Washington Post in which she discusses her experiences of domestic abuse. The article does not name Depp directly, but Depp's lawyers argue that the article falsely implies that Heard was physically and sexually abused in their marriage. He says that as a result, it's difficult for him to get the acting roles he's used to, so is suing for $50 million. Heard's lawyers, however, say Depp has brought the suit rather than take responsibility for his own actions, likening the trial to a soap opera. The opening statements revealed the arguments of both sides. While Depp's lawyers acknowledged his use of drugs and alcohol, they said he is not an abuser. They allege that Heard is a compulsive liar and used the article to advance her own career. Today, his name is associated with a lie, a false statement uttered by his former wife, the defendant Amber Heard, that falsely cast Mr. Depp, falsely and unfairly characterized, cast Mr. Depp as a villain. Heard's lawyers used their opening statement to list extensive allegations of physical abuse and drug taking. Pretty horrendous things happen to her. He rips off her nightgown. He has her jammed up against a bar. He has hurled bottles and bottles at her. He has dragged her across the floor on the broken bottles and the liquor. He has punched her. He has kicked her. He tells her he's <laughs> kill her. He's Hates her. Names such as James Franco and Elon Musk are expected to provide testimony during the seven-week-long lawsuit.